Game one, this is round two of ATR Cup, number five. Over here on NA servers, of course, this week is 2v2s. And we just finished watching Frosty and Kofer take down Diaz and CRR. See what kind of luck they have against Wavy and Gyro. And they're off to a great start. Kofer with a quick ceiling reset. Finds Frosty just outside the box. Now we see this kickoff set piece from Frosty and Kofer. Gyro, maybe a fortunate touch, but either way, he dunks it into the corner and Wavy's there for the follow-up. Frosty and Kofer go right back to it. And this is something we saw plenty of in the prior series. Unafraid to use different kickoff strategies here in 2v2. They also had a tendency to lean on the physical aggression. Lots of bumps and demos from Frosty and Kofer. See if they continue that trend in this series. Fear! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. W raid. W raid. Fear, hopefully the 9 to 5 a is going well. For everyone just tuning in, of course, we are broadcasting some ATR Cup. This week is 2v2s. Frosty wins the race to the challenge there in the midfield and pokes it into an open net. And they've got a lead. And what you're seeing right now is round two. Frosty and Gyro took down, I think, uh... Let me look. I'm just going to be wrong if I don't look. Uh, they took down Panda and Jathan. And then Frosty and Kofer took down Diaz and CRR. And their first round matchup. Frosty. Stays behind this ball. After showing a flip reset, Wavy is a bit confused on the goal line, unsure of the game plan. Results in a third goal. Frosty and Hofer. Here we see another set piece on the kickoff. They're pre jumping, feeling extremely confident. Uh, the winner of this will go on to face the winner of Dan Mode and Scribbles Reveal. So we could see some SSG battle in the next match. There's a mistake in defense. Frosty and Kofor get tied up. Bump one another out of the way. Provide an opportunity for Wavy Gyro. Oh, Dan Mode 1. That's right. We were just looking at that. What? Where's my brain? We actually just had that match pulled up here. Viewing it. <laughs> this is what happens when you get old, folks. You forget things 30 seconds ago. Gopher lines up a double, but a good clear from Wavy. We'll find Gyro at the other end. Bar down and out. Frosty. Save required. He's up to the task. 138 to play.
Maybe Gyro staying composed here, realizing they're only down one. If they can put together a good defensive stand, follow it up with a favorable transition to the other side. Hold on. Gopher looking to create something out of nothing. And this may be the chance that they need it. Gyro up the right wall. Full tank of boost. He's outplayed the first challenge, but Kofer continues after it. A ground pinch from Gyro, but Frosty has a red. Final 30 seconds. Wavy and Gyro beginning to get desperate. Wavy pops to the backboard. Gopher. Great clear. We'll get past the first challenge of Gyro. Hold on. Wavy with an open net. Again, we see a double commit from Frosty and Kofer. Maybe not fully a double commit, but Frosty with an early dive and Kofer not back in time. Wait a second. Frosty's kept us alive. 50 boost in the tank. Flip reset. Frosty! The zero second play. Ice cold for Frosty. Under the first challenge, over the second. Frosty Kofer, take game one. Game two. Immediate pressure from Frosty and Kofer. And we see the strategy continue. Frosty with some space to work and Kofer. Creating some disruption for the opponents. But it will be wavy opening, opening the scoring. Zero boost. What a challenge. That's actually crazy. I did not see the flip reset the first time. Wavy pre-flips. Pancakes the ball against the side there. And then flicks it over the top. A lot of work required from Wavy. Find that first goal. Again, Kofer ahead of the play. Running disruption. That's an early dive. Frosty's demoed. Wavy just needs to accelerate this towards the target as quickly as possible. Frosty with a diving save upon respawning. And now, once again... The same formula. Gopher ahead of the play. Bumps wavy. Frosty's got the flick. And a quick transition for wavy and gyro results in a second goal. Wavy nearly poked that one straight on target. Frosty able to deflect the first attempt into the corner, but Wavy quickly there for the rebound. And that is open. Frosty shot lacks power. Now it's Wavy and Gyro on the press.
That's one way to defend against Kofer's physical aggression, just to demo him first. Maybe looking for a sidewall double, no contact on the second touch. Over's got some space. We'll take a boost. Early reset. Gyro. Early challenge. We'll send it down into the orange side. Wavy. Can't make much of it, so we head back the other way. Frosty with a booming clear. It's back and forth stuff. Each team poking and prodding, hoping for an opening. Gyro to Wavy. And they've got a third. Quick recovery in that corner for Gyro. And the biggest difference, and of course I'm, I'm only referencing the prior series that we got to see here. We didn't see Wavy and Gyro, but the biggest difference that I'm seeing now is Wavy and Gyro are handling both the kickoff set pieces from Frosty and Kofer and the bumps and demos, handling both aspects of the game much better than Diaz and CRR did. Oh, look at that. What a doink. Frosty sitting inside the blue box. <laughs> as, he re as he falls from the ground, excuse me, falls from the, the ceiling. Just doinks it to the left side of the net. They're back within one. Wavy's flick easily blocked away, but he does steal away that corner boost. Now, the wrestle for possession begins. Frosty struggles to generate anything on the offensive side. Kofer has a lot of work to do. Done well to push it down into a position Frosty can play with. That shot bounces off the post and out. Wavy and Gyro narrowly escape with victory in game two. Wow. <laughs> Both teams open game three with a fake kickoff. Gyro's the first to respond. A huge save from Wavy. You got Kofer, Kofer and Frosty. Sitting in the blue net, Gyro, unfortunately, cannot accelerate things quickly enough to take advantage. Go for ahead of the play again, looking for bumps and demos. But there is... Something to be said about Wavy and Gyro. Layers to the defense. They're forcing the man with possession to make an early play. Trusting that final defender 
to escape the bump or demo. And thus far, the strategy's been effective. Implementing some aggression of their own, of course. Gyro's shot is blocked, but Wavy there for the follow. Full tank for Wavy. Up high. 50 in the orange box. Drops in a dangerous position, but Frosty's the first to it. In fact, he clears it on target the other way. Frosty heads up play here in his defending third. Sends it on target and Wavy cannot get back in time. Hold on. They've quickly scored again on the following kickoff. Frosty with an aggressive cheat. Fires the next, next touch on target. Another kickoff play for Frosty and Kofer. They've extended the lead. Almost immediately after claiming and tying, claiming the lead and tying the game. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's off target. I thought Gyro. Was able to put that on target. Frosty now with the bump. Kofor's shot is weak. Wavy with space, has his dodge. He's held it till the final moment and found the top right corner. Wavy and Gyro back within one. Wavy, an open net. What happened here? Kofer just needed to make a touch here in the midfield. Oh, that's a fake from Wavy. Frosty was nowhere to be found. Slow rotation back to his side. Wavy. Collection on defense. Gets the touch past Kofer. He walks home a fourth. Kofor's air dribble. Pulls Gyro for the first challenge, but Wavy. Will grab possession. Kofor's back on the hunt. Now Frosty will look to set up the attack. And they've done it. Kofor continues to chase down the opponents. This time, Frosty gets the outplay past the first guy. Frosty. 
Rossi lost one high. Final 45 seconds. Rossi and Kofor bearing down. Wavy with a nice interception. This could be an opportunity. Kofor with an early dive. We'll send it back to the blue half. Frosty, the double. The net is open. Kofor, not there in time. In fact, Gyro. With a clear, we'll push it down to the orange side, but Frosty collects. One final push for Wavy and Gyro. Gyro's kept us alive. He may have a chance. Balls to the ground, and we go to overtime. Maybe and Gyro with the first possession. Quickly stolen away. Kofer has a lead blocker. Gyro jumps in and bails out Wavy. Kofor's low 50, does find Frosty, but Wavy and Gyro position well. That's off target, and Frosty will be the first to it. Misses his second touch, but Kofor's there. Wavy, 1v1 situation. Over snuffs it out. Gyro with the cut. Can't get around it. But they continue to pressure Frosty and Kofer. Wavy had a slight opening, sent the shot wide. They continue to steal boost. Over on absolute zero, and so is Frosty. But they continue to hold. And now, they have possession. Frosty, what can he cook up? Flip reset here in the midfield, but Wavy unfazed. One v one. Wavy. Looking for the bump. Can't find it. Ofer continues to demo. Wavy. Has to dive, but he can't make the save. Kofer. Will score the winning goal with 2.48. Two minutes and 48 seconds into overtime. A back and forth battle. Frosty putting up 1,200 points. Three goals, two assists, five saves on six shots. And Wavy with 1,100 points. Four goals and four saves. Frosty and Kofor on match point. This has been a very tight series.
Wavy and Gyro knowing the mechanics early in game game four. However, it doesn't amount to much. And now they're pinned in defense with low boost. Kofor takes control. Kofor's done it himself. The flip reset outplays the first challenge. And he's got a bump, or at least the threat of a bump on Gyro is enough for the opening goal. Frosty and Kofor. Head early in game four. Frosty outplays Gyro, and the 50-50 just goes directly in? Gyro and Wavy go neutral on the challenge, or so it seems. But after bouncing on the ceiling, that ball goes directly on target. Kofor, two goals. Coming up big in potentially the final game of the series. A third goal for Kofor. The ideal start for the closeout game. Oh my. Rowan Wavy cannot get too desperate here. There's actually plenty of time in the game. Incredible save by Kofor, but the clear is lacking, so... Gyro here for the follow. Frosty almost makes a, an incredibly fine touch to sweep that away. Nevertheless, Wavy and Gyro... Have their first goal. And they've started to come back. Goal line composure from Frosty. He's got more work to do now. Wavy up high. The flip reset underneath is good. Wavy and Gyro. Slowly but surely. Making their way back into this game and potentially the series. And they get the third. On the following kickoff, Wavy does it all himself. Just under the two-minute mark. You see Kofor and Frosty respond with a kickoff set piece. And Frosty will take the goal right there. Secure the goal, I should say. Not take it. Secure the goal. Rossi versus Wavy, 1v1, air dribble. Wavy stops it in the box.
Great catch by Kofer. As he starts this play down the left side, Wavy last back. He's worked it out into the midfield, but Frosty has now pushed Gyro into a weird spot, but Gyro makes a big time stop. Final 40 seconds, Frosty and Kofert holding on to the one goal lead. Infield pass, Gyro shot is wide, Frosty. The clear down to the other end. Fake challenge for Frosty, Gyro up high, down low. Can't get past Frosty, but Wavy there for the finish. Sixteen seconds to play. Gyro over one. Frosty with the save. Gopher actually gets bumped. Hold on, Wavy. Still has a chance. He's kept it alive. Gopher bumped out of the play. Wavy can't generate a flick. So we go to game four overtime. Will Frosty and Kofer secure the series? Wavy. 50 boost between them. Gyro needs to make a touch. Wavy will bail him out. They're not done yet. Kofer. Flip reset. That's blocked by Gyro. Now Frosty will have a go. Frosty and Kofer keeping things... Slow and controlled. And <laughs> Frosty has poked it past. Gyro just expected Wavy to stay goal side, stay behind this ball. And he just stepped into an awkward position. Frosty and Kofer take the dub.